Windhoek, a city of 400,000 residents. Its infrastructure is one of the best in Africa, and its luxurious services can compete with any other big cities in the world. But that's only half the story. The other half is not so glamorous. Barely half an hour's drive from the city center lies the capital's slum. More than 600 people, most of them youths, are thought to migrate to Windhoek from rural regions each month in pursuit of greener pastures. But more often than not, once they reach the capital, they're in for rude awakening. Those young people come to Windhoek in pursuit of a better life and good jobs. But with unemployment rates standing at 52 percent, it's very difficult for them to land a job that pays well. And they end up building shanty houses like these ones behind me. And these shanties are home to nearly a third of Windhoek's entire population. Cramped, crowded, with no running water or electricity. Uriwangura Mugunda is a self-employed young mother of four. Baking cakes help sustain her family's daily livelihood, but it's not enough. I tried to look for a job, but I didn't find. But now, actually, when I came here, I just stay here with my kids and family. I want to get out of here and have my own house, big house with stones, with bricks, and start another life. The government's efforts to remedy the situation have been met with challenges. The biggest challenge that we have as the government of the day is to try to integrate a proper planning with existing structures that are already there. The people that have been living there, they have been living there for so many years that they have established themselves within surroundings. With the unemployment rate so high, education, health care and social security all suffer. The government has allocated 310 million Namibian dollars to spruce up Windhoek's shanty towns. The project is now underway, but the impact is yet to be felt. Since independence, the Namibian government has made progress in overhauling the economy. It's now a middle-income country, but it still has one of the most unequal income distributions in the world. And nowhere is this more felt, perhaps, than here. Sunlan CCTV Windhoek, Namibia.